She's described as vibrant and energetic, but Casey Yoder's disappearance has left her loved ones with some of their darkest days. The hardest part is every morning when I wake up, I have this urge to call her like I always did. And now I can't do that anymore. Anna Green has been Casey's best friend for 23 years. The last time that I talked to Casey was the morning that she disappeared. She reached out to me at about 1030 in the morning. Green tells me the day before Casey's disappearance, she called her in distress. She had gone and walked across the field to like one of those concrete um, irrigation inlets and she laid down in it and said that she was just gonna lay there and wait for herself to freeze to death. She says her husband followed her footsteps in the snow to find her. She told me that story and she kept saying, he came and rescued me, he came and rescued me. The next day on January 14th, Green's life took a devastating turn. I told her that I was gonna call her later and I never did. And then that afternoon at 4 p.m., she told her husband that I was gonna come and pick her up but we didn't actually have any plans to hang out. Casey was last seen leaving her home near Abbey Road. So when she went walking off, he didn't think that anything of it. He thought that I was just gonna come and pick her up. Casey's husband immediately reported her missing to the Weld County Sheriff's Office. Since then, her loved ones have posted nearly 100 flyers in the area to find the mother of four. So really heartbreaking because her son is disabled. He has microcephaly and he requires 24 hour care. And I know that he's really missing his mom. I just pray that she comes home. I hope that she just comes walking through the door and that she's totally fine. If you've seen Casey or know of her whereabouts, you are urged to call the Welk County Sheriff's Office. Reporting in Eden, Aaliyah Sims, Fox 31.